Hello everybody, my name is Pythus, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have some Survivor games. I'm still not very good at Survivor, but you know what? That's what practice is for. We got three games for you. Two games that went pretty well, and one not so much. You'll see. If you guys want to check it out live, head on over to twitch.tv slash lordpythus. Link in the description, and hang out with me in chat. If you guys enjoy the content, remember to like and subscribe. It appeases the ancient eldritch gods in charge of the YouTube algorithm. Like, comment, and survive. Now, without further delay, and with no more ado, let's get started. Uh, we got the new survivor on the public test run, eh, public test board. Build Jesus. You know, for somebody who wants to speak as a living, you'd think I would learn how to fucking speak. On the public test build, we got the new survivor. And uh, she is sort of like a... A, a witch character or a hedge witch character which is fun i like the idea and she can take dull totems and bless them rather than having like hex totems you have blessed totems which i think is real fucking neato okay i think he's chasing that felix so we're just gonna continue continue with what we're doing um and thus far, what I'm reading and what I'm seeing is that the Blessed Totems are surprisingly balanced for what they are. You would think that it would give the killer a new objective to go after, which they've already got so many things to try to fucking juggle and balance. But from what, I, from what I'm seeing... Oh, I must have passed the totem here. Pretty well. Yeah. So they can take these dull totems and bless them. Um... But from the feedback that I'm seeing is it takes a long time to bless a totem. And it doesn't take very long for the killer to destroy it. Um, and... They provide some really good effects. The ones that I saw was if you're within a 24 meter range, it doubles your healing speed. Gives you 100% bonus to your healing. And the other one was, if you're within a 24 meter radius, it hides your aura and scratch marks from the killer. I wanted to drop that pallet on him. I wanted to stun him there, but that apparently wasn't going to happen. Sorry, Felix. I tried, bud. So yeah, boon totems, bless totems, boon totems. I think we're calling them boon totems. Um, so far, pretty good. Uh, and the feedback I'm seeing is that rather than providing another objective for the killer to cleanse, it feels more like it gives the survivors something else to worry about. Oh, does he have discordance? He might. Uh, no. Looks like he's just going after her, but I'll go and I'll go and get this Felix boy. Felix, my love. Okay, there we go. Grab him real quick. I wonder if he wants me to heal him like right here, which we can do. It's not my favorite. Healing under hook isn't my favorite because the killer knows exactly where we're at right now. He got the fucking notification. He knows where the hook is, but some people like to do that as opposed to like running away and doing it elsewhere, which I don't understand. Doing it elsewhere just feels like the objectively better choice there, but you know, far be it for me. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to pick up the new survivor when she comes out. I think she's cute. So we're definitely going to do that. I already have three done. Jesus. You're doing pretty good. Oh, look. Is that a hex totem? I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. What are you? I didn't even know that we were hexed anymore. Watch this be haunted grounds. Watch me just completely 
fuck people with this. I have no idea what that was. I just cleansed the totem because of course I did. <laughs> Come over here and help this Felix. Oop. Not that much, though. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's going in the mines. I saw him. Chasing that Felix, that would be phenomenal. Yep, looks like. Felix is generally pretty good at fucking looping him. He looped him for a long time at the beginning. Two whole generators got done. Ooh. Hopefully he's not looping him back in this direction. That would be less than, less than ideal. But I think that guy's got a good enough grasp on it. I guess healing under hook is fine. As long as, like, you know that the killer is not near you at all. Do a completely random direction. He doesn't have barbecue or nothing. Was sort of heading in this direction, but mm -hmm. mm, level three. And that Felix is just getting absolutely hammered. <coughs> well, Felix is dead. That sucks, but he did a good job. We're not fucking around. We're not trying to stay. We might have fucked around and tried to stay if I was the last person. Because we still need to do that challenge. Crimson Haze, was that the Felix? I didn't look at any of the names. I never do. Crimson Haze was not, no. Hey, go check them out so I can shout out people that even when it's not a raid. I like supporting my friends. Alright. I don't know if that light counts as flickering. It's flickering a little bit. Go check it out. Check it out. See if there's a Jenny right here. This one's sort of trash though. Not really a lot of options, but we're working. We're working on our uh, our looping game. We're working on our escaping game. So. You know, what better place? What better time than now? What better place than here? Hello? Ooh. Uh, I don't know which one that was. It wasn't Bamboozle. All right, look behind me. See where he's at. Ah, fuck. 
What fucking blocks vault points immediately after you use them? I don't remember. Hello? Uh, hello? None of these guys are coming to save me, which is understandable. Alright, so that was not good for a number of reasons. I did a better job of, like, looking behind me that time, but there was no way I could have fast vaulted that just because the, the way that angles work. I probably should have looped around the fence over here. And, like, tried to come back around the inside of this yard and then maybe vaulted across. But, you know. That's something that we'll keep in mind for next time, you know? Killer mains, learn and survivor stuff. You'd think I would be good at it because I know what I hate from a killer's perspective. But if at any point you assume that I'm good at video games, you are incorrect. Up and up wrong. I don't mind the trickster so much. Lots of people really disliked him. I think he got buffed not that long ago. And like people were fucking hype as shit about it. But then in more recent updates, he's definitely sort of been calmed down quite a bit. Somebody got the hex totem, though. And he's on the other side of the fucking planet, so... Good for us. It's like I just opening that chest. Yeah, he is. Good for him, you know? Getting some stuff, getting a flashlight. Oops. Well, Bill. You stay here. I'll go get them. Hopefully. Still have BT. Okay, he's definitely still around. Okay, there he is. Oh. Ah, did he hear me walking? <laughs> All right, Bill. Gonna need you here, bud. I've definitely led him a significant distance away. I don't know why it decided to vault that instead of drop the pallet, but okay. Did I 
fucking escape? Ugh, oh, man. I actually got away from that one. That was a good fucking chase. Hey, write that down. Add that to the highlight. Add that. Oh. Oh, yikes. That was more adrenaline inducing than I thought it would be. Especially when it accidentally vaulted that window instead of dropping the pallet. I don't know why it decided to do that, but I'm also not that upset about it. That's how it's supposed to go. That it was a much better chase. Fuck. And then I fuck it up by missing a skill check. Well, she's dead, dead. Papa Bear Damien. Pretty good bill doing his looping thing. Hopefully we can get this done and then get to a get to an exit gate. That was that was this one's pretty good. Okay. Run Nancy. Fuck. You see how everything about that was bad just now? Of course there's a hook right here. I was like, haha, there's no hooks. Oh no. We were so close. I could have gotten it if I had just hit that fucking skill check. We would have been fine. Jeez. All right, but now we get to try decisive strike. Fuck, I missed it. Uh, the fucking highs and lows of this game, man. It was such a good chase. And then I fucked up two like critical skill checks in the middle of that. Yikes, yikes, yikes. You know, could have definitely been better. At least I didn't deep him. So many fucking decisions to make. Like for killers, you got to make a lot of a lot of like reactive decisions. But but for survivor, it's a little bit different. You gotta you gotta like. Bubba? Hillbilly? It's, it's a hillbilly. It's a hillbilly chat. Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing he didn't just look left. Oh. Got that boy, though. I guess it's up to me to go and save this boy because everybody else is on the other side of the world. Haha, <laughs> got him. Got the Moltres. God, D is gonna be so fucking mad about that. Get in the ball, fire chicken. That's right. That is right. <laughs> B 
He's gonna be really mad about that. Up. Uh, heal that boy up. Let's go back over to this Jenny. He kicked it or is there? Yeah, he kicked it. I haven't. I haven't seen a hillbilly in a proper long time. Probably because they're not really all that difficult to play against. Sharp turns mostly. that didn't stun him but whatever Man, he definitely sees me just came from the wrong way also my instinct is to go and hide in situations like that hi bill we're gonna get fucked here bill Time's not gonna last that long. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna scoot. We're gonna scoot over to this side, I think. Work on this generator. See, normally with uh, self care and bite the bullet, I I like it because you don't make any sound while you're healing, so you can just like dodge around a corner and then not make any sound. But with Iron Will, like it is. I think you can get that effect anyway. You don't necessarily have to take up two slots for what Iron Will essentially does anyway. Don't notice the blood. Oh my God. That was so close. Yes, go after that man. Please ignore me. He's still around. Price on a cracker, he's still here. Here ish. I don't know what the other two are doing. I'm doing nothing right now. Because, and I cannot stress this enough, I'm scared. Hello? I think I have to go and fucking get this build though. He's going for it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm a sneaky little snake. I'm a snake. Oh, 
Fucking like trio. How about you in here? I thought for sure he saw me in the doorway when like, like he juked around back towards the lockers. No, no, he just walked through and I was like, oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I just need to need to squeeze all right. I'm by here. That's all right with you. Watch me fuck this up like last time. Hi, my name's Lord by this. Welcome to my TED talk on how to just jack things up tremendously for everyone. Uh. Hello, Kate face. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm looking for killers. Can I see my own eyeballs? Hold on. Hello. Uh. All right. So we have to unhook somebody after the end game collapse. So let's go ahead and start that. And then we'll go and unhook this boy. We'll go and try to unhook this boy. They're over there. Oh, is he just going to camp him out? That sucks. And I've got borrowed time, so even if he comes back. Ah. All right, that should be our challenge done. Now escaping is just fucking icing on the cake. Try to get a little bit more blood points usually uh this is this is sort of an iffy idea usually i'm a big subscriber to the just leave mindset but you know this seems to be fucking working out and i could use some extra blood points uh, okay yep i uh, just let's fucking leave GG's, that one was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the grind, gamers. GG's. Little plead. I don't even, was that, was that a killer? Yeah, it was a killer. Yeah, it looks like looks like a pretty pretty new new boy and in some Billy games. That's fun.